Uh, I'm Ryan Machado. I'm the writer, producer, and director of Huling Palabas, which is about a story of a boy looking for his father. And in his journey, he found these two movie-like characters uh, who will change his uh, life forever. Maosyan ko man na ber, din ni mo istoryahon sa akon. Nastorya rin ako sa iyong mga permin ako na para nangguan akong tatay. Nagsugot ron ko na mga magpakita sa akon. Nausyan ko ron ba sa iyong mga nakapanago sa palatian? May sakit kali, Mau. Hindi mo pong ganun ang pagtaas. Mantiw. Hambal ni tatay, Mantiw ko nun ng mga taas nga tao nga gapamulit o nga ang sarwa yun. Hmm. Bukunit mantiw ang tatay na kun. Kung nagkita kami sa Parnanggo, taas taas mau. Hambal na na, abnormal ko no. Anong lawas kaya nagmatan ka to? Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean Bourbobak, and this time we are talking about the film Finn. Hi, welcome to the Teddy, welcome to the Berlinale. Thank you for taking the time for us. Um, maybe tell us a little bit about um, the inspiration behind the film. Okay, so Finn, or in our language, which is Filipino, Huling Palabas, is uh, a coming of age uh, film about a young boy who is trying to uh, discover his um, identity and who he is because uh, he's lived his life without a father. And so he journeys toward that um, goal to find his father. And uh, he, he, he's trying to find that figure in, uh, in the movies that he watches together with his best friend, um, Pido. So, it's a um, small film in a small town about uh, two boys who love to watch movies. So it's uh, kind of an homage to uh, that era in the 90s in which people uh, would gather together and watch the same film and really took their time you know, to uh, experience watching um, uh, movies in that very small screen in the neighborhood, in the community. Yeah, right, and the, this whole infrastructure around, around film watching mm -hmm. and, and these film rental places um, that we see in the film, like these overused VHS tapes and everything. Um, tell us a little bit more about this environment mm -hmm. in which the film takes place. I grew up in an uh, era and an environment in which people um, didn't have um, the capacity to uh, buy their own uh, VCR. So uh, those who are not able to, you know, um, a watch from their own TV would need to, you know, uh, go to their neighbors to, to watch yeah. the film. So um, I watched, I mean, I grew up in that uh, same community. So I was inspired to write uh, the, the film from that experience. Yeah. And it's kind of nostalgic for me also because um, it, has, it had been a simple life then and I would think that uh, life was simple, but uh, a lot, but a lot of questions would uh, spring up also uh, from from my young self. And as you can mm -hmm. see in the film, with Andoy also, he tries to navigate his, um, you know, uh, his identity through the people around he, him and through the movies that he watched. So it's. Uh, kind of inspired from that experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the the visual language that you use um, in the film. How did you construct the the cinematic world of mm -hmm. this piece? 
Okay, so um, I'm a writer also by uh, profession, and I teach, you know, le uh, local language and local uh, culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of my goal as a writer is to promote our own culture and community because we live in this small town in a faraway <laughs> uh, community in the Philippines, and people would. Uh, have this negative uh, notions about the place, and I want to, you know, uh, show them that we have a unique culture, a way of living, um, which is very regional, but uh, it encompasses, or it's also part of the larger um, Philippine uh, experience. So, yeah. um, and uh, growing up, I would uh, hear a lot of stories about um, supernatural and the. Uh, uh, mysticism of the place and it it's uh, interweaved in our consciousness as a people and even in this modern time people would still believe in the uh, superstition and the local folklore and I, I, I see that as uh, as a way you know to um, uh, not promote but show who we are as a people through our thinking and through our belief. So you would see that there is a, str there is a strong element of uh, folklore and yeah. uh, local beliefs in, 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 in that community, in that world. Yeah, and this of course like comes back in the, in the world of the film mm -hmm. as well. Um, very strongly. Maybe let's talk a bit more in detail about this because it's very fascinating and you said as well that, yeah, Ando is trying to find himself mm -hmm. Of course, trying to find this fatherly figure as well um, through the films, through the encounters that he has with other people. But then somehow um, his imagination is very deeply rooted in this kind of mysticism that, that you just mentioned. Can you talk a bit about this aspect of the film? All right. So uh, in, in that community, people still believe that there is a... Um, a a mountain in which um, supernatural beings dwell. And uh, with the case of Andoy, there are also uh, uh, kids in the community who uh, grew up without uh, their father and their, uh, their parents. And people would, um, you know, uh, easily connect that, connect connect that uh, that absence to uh, the encanto or the or those supernatural being because they can't explain why um, a kid uh, grew up without without a father so with andoy also that's a part of his story and uh, I, I i i also like to play the um, the idea that you know these um, uh, beings who dwell in the forest are being, you know, uh, seen as the others, and I see that as an opportunity to, you know, connect with the LGBTQ community and how people would, you know, um, um, other them, you know, yeah. and um, ostracize them in the community in a tolerable uh, way, but uh, there is still discrimination against them and how they are being perceived. Mm. Uh, by the community, so that's uh, how I interweave that connection. Yeah, let's um, let's look a bit more deeply into the into this queer community mm -hmm. that uh, that is in the film. I mean, we have Andoy, who is obviously still looking for who he really mm -hmm. is, who then encounters Ariel, who is this very magnetic and uh, very out there kind of personality. And then, of course, Isidro comes into the picture as well, who then awakens certain feelings and desires um, in Andoy. Can you talk a bit about all of these characters and in what kind of um, relationship um, they stand with each other? All right. Um, just, uh, I, it is interesting to note that the character of Ariel is actually based on a real life trans in, in the community. And uh, I would often hear a lot of negative things about her. And, and so uh, with Ariel, I want to uh, create a character that is uh, different from what is being experienced by, the, by most trans um, you know, individuals in the, in the community. So uh, you can see in Ariel that um, 
she is very daunting, <laughs> like a mother to to enjoy, and she has this positive uh, aura about her. And uh, with Isidro also, um, she, uh, it can be read that he plays like the the father, and and so with uh, these characters, Andoy will eventually find that found community, that concept that you can create your own set of family uh, with the, the individuals that you are comfortable with and that you can connect with uh, personally and who can um, guide you emotionally uh, through your journey. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one thing that stood out to me and I, and I was really curious about um, the meaning of hair in the film. It was very dominant um, with Andoy when, when he gets um, a bit of a makeover from Ariel. Ariel is a hairdresser, of course. She's working with hair constantly. And there is this very moving uh, scene towards the end of the film where Ariel then cuts um, Isidro's long hair, which is also kind of a new start for Isidro then. Um, can you talk about this metaphor or this motif of the hair that runs mm -hmm. throughout the film? Actually, it's, it's my first time to hear that uh, you know, observation and thinking about it now, I realize that it makes sense that this uh, mot motif of hair actually plays a part in the journey and transformation of the characters and it can mean a lot of things like for exa example they want to change who they are they are and they have that agency uh, within themselves to you know um, uh, create their own identity um, with uh, their own uh, you know um, a standard and uh, um, yeah, it's, it's about the, the agency of the individual. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Um, dreams mm -hmm. are very, very crucial. And in Andoy's world, it's a very um, creative space, mm -hmm. I would say. It's not only looking for something, but it's also maybe a space where a bit of self-determination and self construction, self-understanding is happening. Um, what is your take in the film of this world of dreams that is so prominent? Uh, dreams can be a little tricky, but they can, you know, be a powerful um, um, element or, or, or way to um, to create the, the world or the identity and uh, and you know to um, create that uh, identity, and uh, with dreams we, you have that Im imagination, but also it can serve as you know um, an inspiration to um, achieve achieve that goal. So uh, if you relate that to Andoy's fascination with uh, movies, also so he tries to create a world um, based on the movies that he watched, but in the end. Um, he cho he chooses to you know um, to, uh, he chooses a path in which um, he he wants to um, push through in terms of his own transformation and his uh, des destination or, or dream. So that's how I, I can you know um, uh, relate that to the the aspect of dreams in in the film. Yeah. Now, film in the film okay. is also very um, important and it is really a, um, a crucial tool through which um, Andoy tries to navigate his own inner world and, the, and, and his uh, surroundings as well. Um, and, I, and I would like to talk a bit about the very ending of the film where Andoy um, opens his own space where he invites uh, the community people to come and, and, and watch films. And there is this uh, film that we see there. Um, without telling, without like spoiling um, the film, can you tell us a bit about, um, yeah, the role of movies within this movie and what does it really mean um, to Andoy? Um, in this film. Mm -hmm. So uh, I talked about the inspiration earlier and uh, I would like to think that it's also part, 
integral part of the story that the film plays a crucial role in um, people's perception and, and their dreams and for Andoy uh, it uh, is important for him to you know um, to see the film as an avenue to create a world or to um, um, to serve as an, an inspiration and as a guide for him to um, get what he what he desires, and so a uh, film can also be like uh, it's it's a commentary how uh, films can influence um, people, especially younger kids. And I saw in my community how powerful uh, films can be because uh, it can connect. Uh, the community and it can inspire people like uh, me for example I, I I was able to you know uh, dream of bigger worlds because of that uh, small TV screen and uh, yeah um, it's 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 about how uh, films can uh, inspire or um, create uh, inspiration for other people I guess yeah in, in a way it serves also as as sort of like an invitation mm -hmm. into the world, mm -hmm. or, or at least I, I got a bit of this feeling. And I'm wondering, when you, obviously you think through this, when you are creating the film and you're putting all of this into the movie, but then you yourself, of course, creating a film, you are like, how does this affect your subconscious or your, or your conscious relationship with your craft? Mm. Um, that's... Uh, interesting and I haven't thought about it mm. <laughs> uh, um, actually but uh, you know a film is an important uh, part of um, part of me uh, as as an artist and I'd like also to you know um, um, play with with that uh, with with that with that experience in um, going up with films and using that also to use that also to to create a story about mm. about a film. So um, yeah, <laughs> I, I haven't thought about it, but uh, that's very uh, interesting um, way to look at our, our film, yeah. the film with the, the film aspect. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, Ryan, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I wish you all the best for the festival. Have a lot of fun and thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>